Where were you when Drip needed you the most? Were you sipping a soy frappuccino, spreading fud on Twitter, YouTube, selling your bags for peanuts and Cheetos? Or were you surrounding yourself with problem solvers and joining the community initiatives and being a general positive part of the community looking for answers? Now I know exactly what I was doing, but I tend to judge people's characters based on how they respond to the hard times when their back is against the wall. And I've seen many people turn their back on drip and uh, quite publicly in fact, and only focus on the negatives without trying to present answers and without trying to present solutions. Now, of course, drip has had its issues and I've been one of the first to highlight that. But in the last 12 hours or so, there's been a couple of really big bits of news and there's definitely been a change in sentiment. And I'm gonna get onto that in a minute. But first and foremost, if you haven't subscribed, which I know about half of you haven't, please RKO that subscribe button and rest assured, I will love you a long time if you do. So drip is too expendable in my opinion right now. And the reason for that is hyperinflation causes devaluation. And that's the same, not just in crypto, but across the board in fiat as well. I mean, look at what's happening in Venezuela right now. So the fact that people can make faucets for a dollar or less and keep on draining the system without putting any fresh capital in is a problem that we're facing. And I can't put all the blame on the people that are doing it because if there is ever a loophole in a system, people will exploit it. It's just human nature. So I suppose if Forex had a crystal ball and knew the future, maybe he would have done things a little bit differently there. But the good thing is, is there are things that we can do about it. And that's exactly what's happening right now, or that's exactly what's being spoken about right now. So last night in the TGs, it was all kicking off. Forex was in the Crypto Winner Circle Telegram, speaking with uh, Stana and a few others about the proposal that's been put to him about drastically increasing the bar to entry for a faucet. Now, as I said before, at the moment, you can set up a faucet for a dollar. Now, what's being proposed is that it should take 50,000 drip to start a faucet. And obviously that will, in theory, drastically reduce the hyperinflation that's happening right now, which needs to be stopped. And if the hyperinflation can be stopped, then obviously drip will have a much more solid foundation going forward. People can build on it easier and going into a bull market is going to be much more of a strong asset if people know that the amount of tokens is not going to keep on going up and up. Now, if you suddenly dumped a ton of gold and diamonds in the market tomorrow, then the price of gold and diamonds would drop. It's exactly the same because if something becomes less scarce, it becomes less valuable. Now, Drip started off with 1 million tokens. It's currently, I think, about 45 or 48 million tokens. So obviously, in that respect, the value is going to come down. So as I've been mentioning for ages, that is something that needs to be dealt with. So the hyperinflation and the amount of tokens circulating, if we deal with those issues, then obviously we're going to see quite potentially a much stronger drip price. Because at the moment, people don't have to respect their asset. So drip is not an asset that people are respecting right now. And the reason for that is, as I said before, it's too expendable. People can just keep making more faucets for literally a dollar and keep on draining the system. Why would you respect that? You can't do that with Bitcoin. You can't do, do that with a lot of these other blue chips. So at the moment, there's no respect for drip. But that seems to be what's being looked at very, very seriously. I'm very, very pleased about that. And, uh, and I support it fully. So with my understanding, I think a much higher bar to entry is going to be a great idea. So let's wait and see what uh, Forex agrees to. I think he's mentioned like 20,000 and, uh, you know, but I think most people seem to want a much higher amount. So what I'd like to know in the comments is what do you think the bar to entry for a force it should be? Should it be in a dollar amount or should it be a drip amount? Leave it in the comments because I'd love to read that. And the second bit of news is that there is going to be a big community buy-in on the 20th of September this year. So this has all been arranged by the Drip Warriors Telegram group. Big shout out to them. They have been some of the solution finders during these hard times. They've been working tirelessly to come up with incentives and to uh, bring people together and focus on what's so strong about Drip and, uh, and start to work on the negatives. So massive shout out to them. So I'm going to leave a little flyer up in the corner here 
to give you a bit more information on that. I will also put it on my Twitter as well. So if you want to head over there to at Drip Millions, you can see it on there as well. So that could be a potentially really bullish thing for Drip as well. A nice big buy-in. Maybe, quite possibly, we could have the higher bar to entry by then as well. I think that would be a two hit combo if we can get that. That would be awesome. So there is definitely a sentiment change in the drip community. And I've seen people who have previously turned their back on drip already coming back with that Troy McClure type of smile, slightly shifty, and maybe starting to worry a little bit about whether they did the right thing by turning their back because drip has a lot of potential. As I've always said, my game plan has never changed. You can go back through all my videos and check that if you want. As I've always said, I only put in risk money and therefore risk money is patient money. And I see the positives of this community. This is one of the best communities I've ever been involved in. So when we get the hyperinflation and when we get the token amount under control, I think we're really gonna see drip fly. In my opinion, not financial advice, of course it never is. So I'm massively pumped for the future of drip. I'm going to be watching this very, very closely. And of course, I'll be updating you guys as and when I hear things. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at Drip Millions, because I do drop in some stuff over there as well. So it's been a great morning so far. I was up at the crack of dawn. I hit the gym. I come back, had some coconut water. I'm taking Mr. Wookums out on a walk right now, talking with you guys. And uh, it's still nice and early, so I've got a cracking day ahead. It's going to be super productive. So whatever you guys are doing, Whatever you're working on, stay bullish, stay hydrated, and I'll see you all in the next video.